Hi, this is Tracy with the Limelight Pet Project, and today we are at the Everett Animal Shelter in Everett with Glynis Fredrickson. And who do we have for adoption today? This is Freya. So we've had a little bit of time to spend with Freya this morning. How would you describe her personality? So she's she's a little cautious. Mm -hmm. um, she is an absolute sweetheart, though, and she's she did get a little overwhelmed with the you know all the people in here and, and yeah. all the commotion. Um, but she just seems like a very, very loving lap cat. She loves sitting on laps and making biscuits and having right. You know, well, and when she scratch. when she was on your lap earlier, she was even making some air biscuits, which yeah. was pretty adorable. She's really sweet. So, how old is Freya, and how long has she been here? Freya's about four. Um, she's been here for a little over a month. Okay. So her owners brought her in. Um, they had some small children in the household, and. They didn't feel like it was a good match at that point. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that, that can be tough with a, a, a kitty and really small kids. Mm -hmm. So if she could tell you what her ideal living situation would look like, what how would you describe that? We think that she would love to be in a home probably with adults, mm -hmm. um, a quieter home. Um, she really does seem to be a lap cat, and she loves... You wouldn't know it now she's in her cage, but she does in really enjoy being on laps mm -hmm. and, and just spending time with people. Yeah. She's a people kitty. Well, and I totally understand that she's in there now because she spent some time out here getting her photo taken and having some lap time, and now she's just decompressing a little yeah. bit. Yeah. Yeah. So there's something a little bit unique about her physically. Could you tell us a little bit about that? Sure. When she came in, so she's she just had uh, vision in one eye, mm -hmm. and there was something going on with the other eye. We weren't quite sure what. Uh, looks like it had been like that for quite some time. Um, so our vet decided just to avoid any problems in the future mm -hmm. uh, to take out that eye. So mm -hmm. she's got one eye. She does great. Um, she has, prior to coming in, she was an indoor cat, and we really feel that that would be the best thing for her mm -hmm. to continue, continue living inside. Yeah, well, she's so tiny and with one eye. I think yeah. indoor, indoor only would be yeah. best for her. Yeah. So you've had some time to get to know her. What are some of her favorite things to do? Uh, really, I think just being around people and sitting on laps mm. and I think quiet time again, just um, being able to, to sit on your lap if you're curled up with a good book and a cup of coffee and a cat on your lap. I think that would make her the happiest cat ever. Oh, she sounds almost perfect. Oh, baby you know, girl. Be like, yeah, is that a possibility? <laughs> Now, if she could describe her perfect day, what would that look like? Probably getting up, getting her a little food, getting her a treat, sitting on someone's lap. If someone works at home, for example, mm -hmm. um, or, or retired people, um, I, I think that would probably be really ideal for her. Mm -hmm. Now, she's looking for a quieter home, no children. What about other animals? You know, I don't know if she's been around dogs. She seems a little nervous around some of the cats here, so mm -hmm. she may prefer to be the only the only pet in the home. Okay. Um, hard to say, but um, I, I think that would probably be her her, her, her favorite. Her yeah, yeah. yeah, definitely. Yeah. And then she has one eye, but that doesn't seem to limit her at all. Does she have any behavioral or health issues that might be making no. it harder? No, she's been she's been great since she's been here. Oh, that's wonderful to hear. Oh, Freya. So if somebody sees this segment and they think Freya is the perfect cat for me, how do they reach out to Everett Animal Shelter? So we're online, so people can either look up just Everett Animal Shelter online or go to everettwa.gov slash animals. All of our animals are posted um, on our website. There's an online adoption application people can submit, and they just put Freya as the animal that they'd like to come in and meet. Mm -hmm. um, and then we will reach out to them and arrange a time for them to come in and meet her. Wonderful. And then I would be remiss to not ask, what are some of her favorite things to do? And then what's your favorite thing about her? Well, my favorite thing about her is just how tiny she is. Mm -hmm. You know, she is a very petite, very feminine, de delicate little kitty. And her, t her paws are so tiny. They're very, they're very just, and her, her ears are, t are tiny and her tail. I mean, she's just a very compact little kitty. Mm -hmm. um, my favorite, that's my favorite thing about her. Um, she's, I mean, since she's been here, unfortunately, she's been in her cage, so yeah. she hasn't had a lot of time to get out and about. Um, we're really hoping, since she's been here for so long, we're hoping somebody will come in soon and maybe even be able to take her home before the holidays. Oh, that would be wonderful. Well, and it did seem like she perked up a little bit for the, uh, the catnip, and she was very curious about all of us coming in. She does seem to enjoy catnip. Yeah, indeed. Yeah. <laughs> so looking for a home where she might be able to get a little bit of a nip. I think so. <laughs> I think well, thank so. you so much.
And this has been so much fun getting to know Freya this morning. And here's to hoping somebody sees her segment and thinks that she's the kitty for them. Thank you. Thank you so much for coming in and meeting her. Yeah. This has been Tracy with the Limelight Pet Project. And we shine the light on harder to adopt animals because their stories are worth telling.